Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. I wanted to talk some more about analyzing moves, analyzing the movement. You know, if you take, uh, like we did with the sound in the previous videos on advanced in chart and stuff, you take that same analytical approach and you look at the moves and you try to figure out what is nature trying to put you toward and you'll see that it's like an orbit. I'm going to have to turn the TV off. Um, hey, thanks for joining me. I uh, wanted to take a quick look at the moves that we do to sort of see how things are kind of being directed by nature. You know, how it's um, sort of difficult when you have to stop all the time. You can't keep a flow going. So nature in that way is guiding us to keep the flow going, you know. And so if you analyze the moves that are flowing, the most flowing one is the way that uh, the nunchucks kind of orbit themselves. You know what I mean? So, um, and I'll try to give you a little example of that. I think there's one. Sorry. Anytime you do aerials, you are kind of letting the sticks orbit themselves. You know? And the biggest example of this that I can think of are planets orbiting a star, you know? And um, that would be maybe more like this. But anyway, uh, so it's guiding us to the most flowing movement. And nature is rewarding us proportionately to how close we get to what nature wants. So that part we're going to have to have a whole discussion about. But um, for gaining the highest degree of skill, you need to have that harmony and you need to be going in the direction of the flow that is guided by nature. Okay, so um, that's just going to get you to the ultimate skill level if that's what you're after. And that's what I'm after. So uh, you can uh, stick with me. I'll be talking about this subject and um, a lot more about it. Thanks for joining me because uh, time's running out here. We're going to have to keep on going. Have a great day. Thanks.